My name is Robert Pierce, and uh, an AWC is an acronym uh, for a FINRA uh, agreement known as an Acceptance, Waiver, and Consent Agreement. It's FINRA's version of a settlement agreement, but uh, it's unlike uh, civil uh, settlement agreements in uh, the lawsuits that you may be accustomed to in four different ways. First and foremost, it's not confidential. It's a public document. It is published uh, on the internet and will be there forever so long as FINRA exists and maintains it on its uh, system. Uh, it's also published in FINRA quarterly and monthly reports on disciplinary proceedings. Uh, it's also published on your CRD. Uh, if uh, you enter in an AWC uh, with FINRA, it remains on your uh, CRD and your broker check forever. Now, uh, you can't get that expunged. The other uh, way that uh, FINRA AWC is different from a settlement agreement is that it's an agreement with a regulator that contains factual findings. Now, you'll see in that agreement that you agree to those findings, uh, A meaning you agree, you accept, uh, you agree to those findings without admitting or denying the allegations. Now, that's for the purposes of other proceedings uh, other than with FINRA. Because as, according to FINRA, so long as FINRA has this on your record, and if they bring a future action against you, you can't deny the findings made in this AWC. And the findings in this AWC, if you have another action filed against you, can be used against you for a greater sanction, for example. Uh, if uh, an individual other than FINRA tries to use the AWC as evidence in an arbitration proceeding or a court proceeding, some courts will say, well, that is a settlement agreement. It's made without admitting or denying. But there are many courts and many arbitrators that will say no. Maybe certain parts of it uh, are considered to be settlement relative to the sanctions, for example, but these are regulatory findings, they'll say. And these findings were made after a long investigation, and there's a presumption that those findings are correct, and they'll be admitted uh, into evidence. Regardless of what can be done legally with that uh, AWC uh, in the future, there's a public stigma that's attached. Um, you know, the public sees this uh, AWC, it reads the findings, it thinks that you did those horrible things that FINRA wrote about. And so um, the important thing when you're negotiating an AWC is to know that the findings are generally the most negotiable. Uh, yes, they have to make a claim, uh, but you can generally, with a good lawyer, a good FINRA defense lawyer, negotiate the findings that find their way into the AWC. If you can't, you absolutely think they're dead wrong, you can refuse to sign the AWC and go to the disciplinary hearing. Now, the third way in which uh, an AWC um, is different from an ordinary settlement agreement is that you waive future rights and you waive a right, uh, all your due process rights with respect to an AWC uh, once you sign it. Uh, you can't uh, contest it in the future. Like I said before, you can't deny it in FINRA proceedings. You can't file any appeals to the NAC, the National Adjudicatory Council, or the Securities and Exchange Commission, or the District Court of Appeal. You waive all those rights. And last, uh, the C in AWC is you consent to the sanctions. Now, the sanctions are the punishment. The sanctions could be anything from as innocuous as an undertaking, an agreement that you won't do something again in the future. FINRA can censure you, say that you violated this, and, but not issue any other sanction, just censure you, make it a public admonishment that you violated this law in their opinion. Uh, you can be fined, and you have to pay that fine before you can be readmitted to practice uh, as a security broker uh, in the industry once you've been fined. You can be suspended, and you have to serve that suspension before you can uh, go back and work. Uh, or you can be permanently barred. And once you're permanently barred, you're barred, unless you negotiate in that AWC a right to reapply. 
That's rarely done, but it can be done with the right attorney. Uh, most investigations conclude with a FINRA AWC, and that's because most attorneys and most litigants recognize that the FINRA disciplinary proceeding is a kangaroo court, and uh, the likelihood of success is daunting. So again, when you face a FINRA investigation, 8210 letter, or you give an OTR, uh, you need to have a FINRA attorney on your side, a FINRA defense attorney. Someone that, at the very least, is skilled enough to negotiate an AWC for you, as I described. And we're here for you if you need our help.